You ready for this? I'm ready. I don't know what's coming, but yeah, let's go. Ding, ding, ding. Welcome to another rendition of 500 Questions for French. Cue the theme music. <laughs> There's no theme music. There's no theme music. Here oh. we go. Number 16. Okay. How good are you at Jenga? I'm not good. Why? I just, I don't know. Really it's a children's much. game. I haven't played much. How good are You're you? You're an adult. Oh, I know. Like, well, have by, you played much? No, but I'm an adult and it's a children's game, so I'm probably okay. I think I'd be better if I was a child. Hmm. You, do we have Jenga here? Surely. Can do, we play Jenga? Let's play Jenga. Let's play Jenga. Okay, here we go. Holy smokes, man. That's a lot of movement. Yep. You stick go. to your day job. We're going to be doing this all day, aren't we? What you guys don't know is Jason French is not competitive whatsoever. Oh, I'm so competitive. <laughs> what do you say, like three weeks paid vacation for whoever wins? Uh, sure. Right there. Okay. You can't flick it back with your other finger. You can't what push it, you can't do it to, to get it out. I'm just trying to get it out of there. Did you just do the very thing you accused me of doing? No. Uh, I'm running out of options here. I want that one. Oh, come on. Come on. It was always there. See, well, you're good at this game. I'm not good at this the game. The answer to the question is, are you good at Jenga? Look at our, yeah, we're good at Jenga. Can we just call it a tie? Mm-mm. Why not? <laughs> I just. <sighs> well, that was an easy one. Falls is on you. Literally on you. Number 16 answered. Yes, <laughs> good at Jenga. Number 17, what makes a resilient disciple? Consider pure joy, my brothers. You face hardships of many different kinds because testing your faith involves perseverance, complete lacking in nothing. Yeah. What have you seen over the last, I mean, let's call it four years, March of 2020? that the church or CIY or people around you has made them resilient disciples? I think trying to find, um, uh, find your way in this messy uh, cultural, political landscape as a disciple of Christ calls for immense grit and resilience to make sure that we keep our eyes fixed on the author and perfecter of faith, on Jesus. And, and I feel like right now the church is really fighting hard. And, and I don't want to pick one issue. There, we can pull out 20 sure. of them right sure. now. Um, I'm not even trying to pick out one political party. We could, we could throw them all out there. Like, I think the, the church is, is having, gonna have to find and is working to find immense resilience um, in, in a really difficult landscape. What's one thing every student should experience before graduation? <sighs> well, for my kids, it's time overseas. I mean, okay. I think if you want to raise up a global-minded believer that has a heart for the nations, and I don't think it's possible to even call yourself a Christian if you don't have a heart for the nations. Uh, now, does that mean that you, can you have a heart for the nations without going overseas? Sure, absolutely, you, you definitely can. But one of the quickest ways to cultivate that heart uh, is to, to find yourself into, in a new culture and a new setting that allows you not to go as leader, to, but to, to go as learner, to see the beautiful things that God is doing in the global church. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I could push students to do one thing before they graduate, go see God at work in the global church. How would you encourage students to find the global church at home? Because not all of our mm -hmm. students that come to our events or at youth groups have that opportunity. Well, and they may have disabilities that don't allow that. There may sure. be some physical, uh, all kinds of limitations that, yeah. can, that can do that. I think one is looking for the diverse cultures in your, your community mm -hmm. that you can serve. Uh, even looking at, at churches uh, in your in your area that serve different cultures, um, I think anytime you see you know missionaries that may come back uh, to your church that you sent out to man get time talk with them meet with them know their story hear about their work, but at the same time I mean if your church goes on a short term mission trip especially not just domestically is, is very very good, uh, but especially if you can get you know out of the country where you don't. It just, it's really beneficial. And then if you can't, man, we'd love to, we have engaged trips. And I wasn't been meaning for this to be a promo for that. That was not the intention. I didn't know what the question was. Uh, but honestly, one of the things I did with my kids is 
Um, we ask every one of our kids before they turn 16 um, to go on a cross-cultural engaged trip, and then we actually go back, and what, before our kids get any money for college, they are required to serve the global church overseas for at least one month. So one of my kids went to India for a month, another one went to Ireland for a month, and then my daughter just got back uh, last summer from two months in Japan. We just were big believers in serving the global church. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, Jason, I appreciate your time. Thank you. I know you're busy. These good, are fun questions. Game. You beat me in Jenga. No, cool. No, 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 Put no, it no, on no, your no, Facebook. No, no. Uh, <laughs> we're good, we're good. That was another rendition of 500 Questions for French. Tune in next time to see him beat somebody else in a child's game and then brag about it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. All right. <clears throat>